What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthoxy and welcome back today to Pokemon Trinity! How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back! Yes, today, once again, it is time for a brand new episode here in our beautiful Pixelmon world. And today is the day where we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure. So last episode was actually a really, really good one. Um, we went back to the Mesa biome and we challenged the sixth gym. And as you can see from my hotbar, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have this beautiful volcano badge. Look how cool that is. Woohoo! So what we can do now is, oh, where's my other one as well? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Ah, there it is. Cool. So check this out. We've got the freeze badge, which was the fifth gym. And we kind of like it a little bit like that, I think. And the sixth gym. Woohoo! Yeah, look at that. So only two more gyms left to go in the series. Oh my goodness. So I have no idea what these other two are going to be, but as well as completing the uh, the sixth gym in last episode, we actually also caught a new legendary Pokemon that has been sausaging us for many, 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 many episodes. So of course, you may have seen already, we have this, oh, 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 hey, hey, as I was saying before I fell off my Waylord, um, we have <laughs> this little beauty, which is the Articudo, which for some reason has frozen my game. Hey, there we go. Look at this. So this is the one that we got a couple of episodes ago. And in the previous episode, dun, 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 another tiny baby legendary. Why are they always so small? That, I hey, you guys staring each other out? Hmm? <laughs> Who's going to win this battle? Who's going to look away first? Okay, this is Latios versus Articuno. Who is going to win the staring contest? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? You guys really... You're giving each other sass, huh? What the heck is this all about? We're on the same team, dudes. Who's going to look away first? <laughs> They've been staring each other down for like two minutes now. I've never seen this before. What kind of legendary behavior is this? Hang on, wait, if I move... They still stare each other down. I mean, this is this is a proper Mexican standoff right here. I have no idea why they're giving each other so much sass. I mean, sassy Pokemon are good. You know what I mean? Hang on, what if I move? Oh, there we go. <laughs> are you guys friends now, huh? Are you... Oh, 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 oh. No, okay, so Latios is still giving Articuno the eyes, but Articuno is like, you know what, dude, just chill out. The game is over. Okay, that's really weird. I've never seen that before. That's so strange. Um, but yeah, so we caught this Latios legendary, which is cool. It's a tiny one once again to keep building with our tiny legendary army. And oh, have we got another mystery egg? I think we do. There we go. Boom. Nice. So yeah, as I was saying, today the plan is to go and check. Oh, for goodness sake. To go and check out the Seventh Island. So we've never been there before. It's got an amazing name. I think they mentioned it at the end of the boss battle. But it's called the Redwood Isles. And that sounds super pretty. So I think I know where to find it. Let's go and check that out in today's episode. However, before we get there, ladies and gentlemen. Bad news. Unfortunately, today, the Derpachu cannot be hailed. Despite the fact that we caught Latios Legendary and we got the 6th Gym Badge. Unfortunately, we didn't quite hit the light goal. So it's okay. This does happen from time to time. Unfortunately, we've got one slot left. I was hoping for a full Derpichu Shrine 3.0. But hey, that's the way things go. So uh, yeah, unfortunately... We're not going to be able to fill this slot today. It's okay, though. It's okay. Everyone needs a day off, so it's all good. It's all good. However, if we can try and hit 3,500 likes in this video, then we will be able to fill this slot. So we are going down a little bit, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So, unfortunately, Derpichu, please forgive us. Please forgive us. Please, please, I beg of you. Give us good luck. Last time you forgave us. I think you're not going to forgive us twice, so... Oh, all hail the mighty Derpichu. Out of curiosity, just before we leave, how many uh, mystery eggs have we got? Okay, so we've got three. What I'm thinking of is maybe if we just get two more, then we can do like a big five mystery egg un shelling i guess is what you <laughs> i guess is what you'd call it um so yeah we could do that maybe next episode or the episode after we'll see how things go uh but yeah i would like to get five all in one go and then we'll just fly around with flygon and we'll pack our team with mystery eggs that sounds kind of cool oh yeah just before we go as well i did actually buy 
uh, some ranch upgrades. So in like the previous episode to get ready for it, I did a big grind, like a huge grind. Uh, and I had loads of money because I fought blue suit trainers. Um, and like the, the blue suit bosses as well. And I did the bosses that drop rare candy. It was good times, but we actually got four of these now. So if I remember correctly, if we just click on them, we can pick the X and the Y axis. So, um, God, I've forgotten how these work. Plus X. Okay, so X is a cross. I remember that from school. <laughs> like, literally, it's a cross, and it's it's lengthways. If you use a little useful tip there from, uh, from the age, you're more than welcome. Okay, how do we... Wait, where, where did that put one? X is a cross. Did it work? Why is it... Why is it not showing it up on the floor? Oh, no, it is, it is, it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So there you go. You can see, like, those ones over on the right-hand side. They've extended slightly. Um, So we've got... Um, can we do... This one as well on the minus axis. Yes, and we can do one here. Boom. Okay, so we should have a full um, extra row of spaces. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any more wool at the moment. At least I don't think we do, but we will get that extended. We'll start to, like, build Love Island out a little bit. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. You guys happy? You're getting a bigger house. Yay. Right, so we are off to the brand new island. Uh, this is one that I've actually been quite excited to see for a very long time, just because the name, the Redwood Isle, just sounds so, so cool. And if it's anything like the Autumn Isle, which was the second island, then it's going to look pretty amazing, if I don't say so myself. I'm kind of excited, actually. I think it's over here. So I've, like, I've gone to the very, very, very front of it, and then I've turned around because I didn't want to ruin it. But... I think it's this one, and we actually found this, like, island location super, super early on in the Let's Play. I think this was, like, the first, or one of the first shrine areas that we found, because we caught our Manetric from somewhere just down in that location. And there's normally some Dratinis here. Yeah, it's really weird. This is, like, for some reason, Dratinis just like to spawn here, which is kind of crazy. I was hoping to find a shiny one, but I don't think that's going to happen. But, hey, okay, here we go, here we go. So this is the beginning of the Redwood Isles. I think, I think. Let me double check. Let me let me go and talk to the lady. So what do you say? Okay, this is the Redwood Isle. It's home to the seventh gym and it's as old as tin over itself. The Redwood trees here are gigantic. Enjoy your time here in Redwood Isle, trainer. I think I will. Right, so first things first, let's just follow the path and see if we can find like a town or something like that. Um, What kind of new Pokemon a spawning. So we've got Kadabras and Heracross. <laughs> Ooh! Executes! No way! This is the first set of executes we've seen. Cool. Oh man, like a shiny executor would be really cool. The only thing that I think about ex uh, like executed executor in Pixelmon is that the models are really outdated. And unfortunately, if you've heard the news, I don't think we're going to be getting some updated models of a lot of these because, yes, Pixelmon mod has been cancelled, which really sucks. Well, it's been copyright claimed. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure, like, if you, if that's news to you, basically, don't worry, the series is going to continue, but they've asked the Pixamon team to stop developing Pixamon because it infringes on copyrights. Oh, it's never fun with copyrights, is it? Wow, look at this. Okay, so does this have, like, kind of a snowy area to the side of it? I think it does. Ooh, okay. I see a house. Um... I'm expecting this biome to be pretty big, actually. Uh, these are the giant redwood trees that they were talking about. There's like a huge log here that's collapsed. Uh, okay. Awesome. So there might also be some kind of cool unique trade in here. So we need to try and find a trade wherever possible. Okay, let's talk to this angry pirate. Okay. Arr, have you come here to do battle? We don't do much of that here. We're a peaceful town. Oh, he's a retired pirate. His pirating days are over. He lives a more peaceful life these days, and I credit him for it. That's fair enough, dude. I mean, you do still look like a pirate. Just going to throw that out there, but you know what? If you're a retired pirate, that's okay with me. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, look, it's a Raichu. Hello. <laughs> okay, so let's go through this giant log that's just lying here. Oh, wow. Okay, so this must be the new town. Cool. Okay. Um... Is that a Sudorudo on the roof? Oh, wow. I've always loved that model in Pixelmon. It looks really good. Okay, so let's go through these houses. And let's actually just see, like, who we have in here. So we've got some nerdy dude. I live out here to do research and please. 
there's no noise out here and one can really concentrate. Okay, and who are you? Dad never stops researching. Sometimes he mutters things like ancient Pokemon and ruins, but he never tells me anything. Ooh. Ancient Pokemon and ruins. Oh, could this be where Zapdos Shrine is? Ooh. Maybe. Because we haven't yet located where the Zapdos Shrine is. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Ah. And oh, we need to get a new orb going. Okay, yeah, we need to do that at some point as well. Uh, okay. So we're kind of just learning this place as we go along. Let's keep looking around. So what have we got here? We've got some guy who looks like a chef. Okay. The wheat here is better than anywhere else in Tanova. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Are you a trader? No. Oh, I thought you were a trader. Okay. I haven't seen a strong trader in months. This town is so boring. Can you show me some cool Pokemon? Yes, I can. I can show you my Articuno. Look at it. Look at my... Look. Look at it. Yeah, there you go. You like him? You can't have him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I found the first trader. Okay, okay, okay. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, really? A scolopede he's looking for and he'll trade me a weavile? That's the worst trade in the world. No, I'm not interested in that trade. Uh, I'm guessing there's probably some kind of cool trade somewhere. It's kind of just a case of finding it really, isn't it? Um, Okay. So let's go here. Is there anything cool for sale? Uh, no, okay, so this is one of them that just sells, like, normal Minecraft items, which is actually sometimes quite useful for some of the crafting recipes. Uh, we've got the Poker Center. This is, like, a really long town. It's quite strange. Okay, so we've got the Poker Mart. Uh, you two look like you're in a conversation. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, it's Nurse uh, Officer Jenny. Okay. Hey, have you seen any Team Rocket? I heard they set up on the island here, but no one knows. The executive was seen carrying a weird electrical orb. Oh! <gasps> Ooh, okay. Ah, the energy of this place. My dark chi is overflowing right now. Oh, so I think maybe the prize for defeating the rocket tower or maybe one of the rocket bosses is an orb of static souls. That's cool. Ooh, second trader. Oh, he's looking for a Gengar and he'll give you a shiny Charmander. Oh my goodness. I had a shiny Charmander in the original Pixelmon series. And I had a shiny Charizard. It was like a black Charizard. It looked so cool. That is a good trade, dude. I might be back to see you sometime soon. Wow, this place just keeps going on and on. It's huge. Okay, so here's the mayor. Oh, greetings. Yes, this is the humble and quiet Redwood Town. We do not. <laughs> we do not what? <laughs> Why are you talking riddles, mayor? I have no idea what's going on there. Okay. Oh, Moochie. Oh, I thought that I had to, 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 to Pikachu. Get out of it. Oh, the Derpichu. He's come to attack me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Derpichu. I'm so sorry, buddy. Okay, let's keep going. Um, So there's like a little bridge that goes over on this side of the town. Um, And it just keeps going on. It's really crazy. There's so many houses. So I'm looking for traders mainly, but you never know. Oh, look at the little Derpichu. You're tiny. <laughs> I'm going to have to catch you, dude. You're so cute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to try and catch this, this tiny little Pikachu. Yeah, I got the little Pikachu. I kind of, you can't just leave a tiny Pikachu like that, right? Oh, hello. Okay, Poker fan. This is the life. Relaxing river at the doorstep. Something to the sky. I'm so glad my wife talked me into moving here. Okay, so people are pretty happy in this town, it seems. It seems like a peaceful and quiet and tranquil town, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's keep going. So I think these are the last couple of houses, and then the town ends. Oh, third trader, three, two, one. Oh. Oh, wow, what a weird trade. Okay, so he's looking for a Ludicolo, and he will give us an Electivire. Which is a really cool Pokemon. How do we get Ludicolo? Hang on, Ludicolo Pixelmon. Is it something that we have to trade? I actually don't know how to do Ludicolo. Uh, hang on, let me, let me go and check. Oh, okay. So I thought it might have been some kind of held item trade, but we need to find a Lotad. 
And if we can find a Lotad, we can evolve into Lombre at 15, no, at level 14. And then if we put a Waterstone on it, it will evolve into Ludicolo. And then we could trade it for an Electivire, which would be an amazing trade. It's so sad that I went and typed Ludicolo Pixamon in and the Pixamon page didn't load. It's so sad. Oh, why you do this, Pokemon Company? <sighs> okay, let's keep going. So this is like the main town area. So if we open up our map, we can see that we've done like this tiny area. Whereas all of this is probably still, um, like, just random stuff in here. This place is really, really big. So, I guess we should keep exploring. I mean, today's episode isn't really about Pokemon catching and battling. It's about exploring this new area uh, and sort of seeing what we find along the way. These dust stocks are cool. Where are we going to get a Lotad from? That's what I don't know. I haven't seen a single one of those all Let's Play. And obviously, it's kind of, it's a water Pokemon, right? But I've not seen any in any of the water. So, I think maybe if there's some lakes or something, I'm guessing they probably spawn in a biome we haven't been. And we're running out of biomes, to be honest. So, maybe they're somewhere in this. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep an eye out. Okay, I'm having a little bit of a fly uh, and just sort of seeing what's going on. Um, so, there's like a huge mountain range. Ow! down like the side of it. I thought maybe there was something in it. Ooh, what's this? Is it another shrine? What Pokemon is it a shrine to? Oh wow, there's a Dragonair here. Cool. Okay, we, well we've got we've got a, quite a good Dratini, so we don't want to like catch it or anything, but that's really cool to see. Oh, it's a Dragonite shrine. Hey, if someone's already been here, the ball is missing. Hmm, Justin. <laughs> Has he already been here? I'm kind of, I'm a little bit, I don't know what he's doing in his series. Like, I tried to avoid it just in case, but, um, yeah, he must have been here, I guess. Which leads me to think that there's a, a Zapdos shrine here somewhere. That's kind of my feeling that there's something else. So I haven't found the, the rocket tower yet or anything like that. Uh, I'm kind of just flying around the sides and hoping to find something. <gasps> ooh, 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 a legendary spawned in a river biome. Oh god, where would the river biome? Oh, oh, this is a river biome. This looks pretty wet. Okay, this must be a river. Is this river? No, this is this is tiger. Uh oh, hang on. Where, where, where would it be? 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 Do you think it's an Azelf? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, this is river. This counts as river. Anything here? Can you see anything? Oh god. Okay, let me let me look for this guy. Let me look for this guy. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. No, not a Plusle. Oh, no, it's not an Ooxie. <laughs> oh, we've already got loads of Ooxies. Are you kidding? So, yeah, this is like the third Ooxie that we've seen. Um, Should we just battle him and get the experience? I think we should. We might as well. Uh, yeah, so if it was either an Azelf or a Mesprit, I would totally go and catch it. Um, But we've already got an Ooxie and we've already, like, seen a couple of them. This seems to be the one that we always bump into and I'm not sure why. It's kind of like Latias. I think it's the most common of the three. But yeah, we've got we've we've had we've got a few of them, I think, and we bumped into a few. If it was an Azel for a Mesprit, I would totally catch it. But ah, okay, let's carry on. Seeing as we're not getting distracted by legendary Pokemons. Da, da, da. Okay, so there must be a rocket tower around here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, it is right in front of me. Hey, okay, we haven't done one of these for a while. I think we should do one soon, actually. Um. I'm trying to see what they were talking about with ancient ruins and Pokemon and stuff. There must be something I'm missing. Um, what on earth is this place? I'm so... <laughs> so, so this is like, this is like, I'll show you, I'll show you. So I was, I was just, um, I was just here, right? So I was opening up this area of the map. And then I noticed that this is the jungle biome. So this is where the Waylord is up here. And... To, like, the right-hand side of the jungle biome, there's this weird place. And it's kind of, like, semi-forest, semi-set on fire. And I never saw this before. What on earth is this? It, this is so pretty. Hang on, wait a second. Just look at these waterfalls. Wow. So there's a big Team Rocket Tower in the middle. Um. But... I don't, I, don't, I don't know what this is. Is this the Zapdos? The Zapdos? <laughs> the Zapdos area? Because maybe, like, all of the trees here have been hit by lightning, and that's why they're on fire. 
This must be the Zapdos Shrine, surely. Flygon. Surely, right? It looks really cool. Um, and I've, ne I've never been here before. Which is amazing, because I, I would have thought I would have seen this from the jungle, but it's been ages since we actually explored the jungle. I think that was like, what, the third or the fourth gym? So, ooh, oh, it is. Okay, just before we go on, go over there, let's have a look under here. Oh, wow. Oh, this would be an amazing place for fossil Pokemon. Cool. Okay, so this is definitely the Zapdos Shrine, isn't it? So if we go all the way to the top, okay, we've gone too high. Um, it must be in here, right? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, it is! It is! Look! It's the Zapdos! Yes! Okay, which one is Justin used? Is he done left, right, or middle? He's done right. Oh, wow. Okay. So now we know where this bad boy is. So I actually had no idea where to find this. So that's cool that we know. I thought it was going to be in the Redwood Isle, but it wasn't. It was behind the jungle. Which now makes total sense. And I'm amazed we didn't see it. Hey, pretty good. Okay, I've also found a random cave. Um, which is super, super deep. So let's go and take a little look down here. Um, yeah, these caves, they sometimes have like cool trainers in and stuff. Sometimes they don't have anything in. Um, but we might as well go and have a look. Okay, so now we know where the Moltres and the Zapdos Shrine is. The question is... Which one do we go and try and get first? See, I, I'm leaning towards Moltres, actually. And it's not like, in my opinion anyway, it's not the best one. In fact, it's probably actually the worst out of the three legendary birds. But from seeing that Moltres in that gym battle um, last episode, the animations look amazing. Like, ooh, hello, Onyx. <laughs> What's up, dude? Is this your cave? I like your house, dude. You've done a good job with the place, huh? Yes. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, it looks amazing. Like, the animations look really cool. So I'm kind of tempted to maybe go for an Orb of Fiery Souls. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, uh, uh, but Zapdos is so cool. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. But I'm thinking I'm leaning towards Moltres next, actually. I think that would be really cool. So... Uh, we know where the, the, the big oh volcano is, which we can go to. Now we know where the Zapdos is. And yeah, we now have seen the Redwood Isle. Okie dokies. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think um, for our little exploring episode here, we're probably about done for today. Um, So what I think we'll do next episode is... Oh, there's a ball here. Oh, Shadow Ball. That's a good move. Um, Yeah, I want to I wanna do a few things, actually. One of them is try to find a Lotad. Don't know where I'm going to get one at all, to be honest with you. I've not seen a single one. Um, but if I can... I, oh, the thing is, the Pixelmon Wikipedia is now down. And normally that tells you where the biomes are. So that's going to that's gonna be interesting. I'm going to have to try and find out which biome it spawns in and what time. Um, but yeah, I did also find the mini gym, which is good. I found the rocket tower. We found the rocket tower with the Zapdos shrine. Uh, we found some really cool trades as well. And wait a minute. We didn't even find the main gym. What? Where is the gym? Is it under this chunk that we haven't been to? Oh, thank goodness. I got worried then for a second. I was like, wait a minute. We've come to this new area and we haven't even found the gym. Here it is. Okay, cool. So just before we finish, let's see what type of gym this is. It looks pretty grassy, but I think we've already done a grass gym, haven't we? Oh, so this is the dragon slash ghost gym. That sounds like it's going to be a really cool battle. Dragon and ghost are my two favorite um, Pokemon types. So that is going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to that battle. We'll probably do a battle at level 75, I think. Uh, but there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this episode here of Pokemon Trinity. So, stay tuned for next episode. We've got loads of cool things that we want to do. And, yeah, if you could please remember to poke me in that like button, that would be amazing. If we could try and hit 3,500, that would be incredible. So, thank you very much for your continued support. Also, if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Minecraft done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Right to you.